next speaker is uh, Laura Gasco. Laura is professor at the University of Turin in Italy in the Department of Agriculture, Forest and Food Science. Uh, professor Gasco has 25 years of experience in animal sciences and her main topic of research is on uh, fish, rabbits and poultry rearing, nutrition and product quality. She will talk today about aquaculture industry growth and she will reveal the hidden sides of insects. I'm really pleased to be here and I would like to thank Sprotic that invited me. Uh, today, I have the task to tell you something about the hidden side of insects and how insects can help uh, the aquaculture growth. At the beginning of the insect history, uh, the attention was mainly focused on their protein content, as insects are a very valuable source of protein. Clearly, the protein content depends on the insect species we are dealing with and on the process uh, that insect has been going through. Uh, we, you can have a full fat insect meal or the fat insect meal. And uh, um, depending on the how big the defatting process is, you will have some insect meat that can be uh, really high in protein and quite similar to protein, uh, to uh, fish meat protein. Uh, being of uh, animal origin, insects are also very uh, rich on essential amino acids, uh, but once again, depending on the insect deficiency in lysine, methionine, and tryptophan but they are still very valuable source of essential amino acids, especially when we are speaking about aquaculture. But the mass production of insects uh, not only generate proteins and proteins mean that can find direct application in uh, aquaculture feed, but they also generate very interesting new products such as antimicrobial peptide, chitin or fatty acids that can be uh, growth directly uh, using insect meal in aquaculture feed or can be extracted from the insect and then used as additive. Uh, these bioactive compounds have um, antimicrobial effect, can have antioxidant effect. Uh, uh, they have been shown to boost the immune system of fish and they can also modulate the microbiota of animals. And in an area uh, where the antimicrobial resistance is one of the bigger threats to global health, food security, and uh, development, to have some natural uh, molecule uh, that can help fish to face pathogens is of great importance. Protecting fish against disease or helping fish to be more uh, resistant to pathogens is a major challenge in aquaculture worldwide. Uh, as losses due to infectious disease uh, dramatically limit the profitability. Um, insects are a primary source of antimicrobial peptides. Uh, insects, uh, in response to challenge or to trauma, uh, are able to produce uh, some molecules that have a broad spectrum of activity against gram-positive, gram-negative, parasite, fungi. Uh, so far, about 150 antimicrobial peptides have been identified uh, in insects. And the possibility to have antimicrobial peptides and to use them uh, in fish nutrition can help uh, fish to face pathogens. And this could be uh, very interesting. Um, antimicrobial activity is also uh, possible through the use of chitin to the chitin that is contained in insects. Um, chitin is a, a polystructural polysaccharides and is the major element of the exoskeleton of insects. Uh, chitin from, from crustacean, crustaceans uh, is well known to have antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial effects. And the question is if chitin from insects uh, has the same activity of chitin uh, from crustaceans. Uh, well, uh, chitin uh, from different insects has been isolated, and chitin and chitosan that derive from chitin have been uh, characterized, and it has been seen 
that they have a similar uh, composition. And they also have uh, antibacterial activity uh, against different kinds of uh, bacteria. So uh, a trial was performed by Ido, uh, and uh, they used the Nebio Molitor meal in the diet for red sea bean. Well, they performed a growth trial. Uh, using uh, 25, 40, and 65% of the neighbor monitor mean, and they found increased, increased performance. But uh, most interesting is that they perform also a challenge test. So they feed, faith, they feed fish with 5 and 10% of the neighbor monitor, and they then challenge fish against Herbacella El carda, and they found uh, a strong increase in survival rate. Um, antibacterial effect could also be due to uh, the specific fatty acid profile of the insect. Some insects have a high content of uh, lauric acid, in particular, Emetia lucens fat is really rich in lauric acid. And in this trial, we performed some in vivo antimicrobial effect of insect fat against uh, bacteria. So in this case, you can see that uh, Hermetia lucen fat had a strong effect against uh, Pastorella multocida, uh, against uh, Yershinia enterocolictica, and then uh, against uh, Listeria monocytogenes. Um, the antibacterial properties of the lauric acid are well known and are already applied in different, uh, for different food forms. Uh, insect meal can also have um, immunostimulating effects. Uh, in this trial, um, yellow catfish was, were fed with uh, black soldier fly larva meal to level of inclusion, so 10.8 and 22.3%. And uh, not only authors highlighted increase in performance, so an improvement of the weight and an improvement of the feed conversion ratio, but they also find a strong uh, improvement in the uh, immune system. And so they found a 31.9% and 6.8% of improvement in the lysosome activity. So they conclude that uh, black soda meal in real catfish can have positive effect on low performance and can boost the immune system of, insect, of um, fish. Uh, insects are also able to modulate the microbiota. So black soldier fly uh, meal was used uh, in rainbow trout, uh, three level of inclusion, zero, 20, and 40% of inclusion. And we found a modulation of the microbi microbiota of, of fish. In particular, we found an increase of the incidence of Carnobacterium genus that has well-known properties um, um, facing pathogens, increasing the uh, immune response, and improving the uh, disease, and disease against, um, the resistance against disease. Another trial with insect meal, in this case, uh, authors use uh, full fat insect meals, so Hermetia lucens, Tenebrio monitor, Grillodes sigillatus, and Blata lateralis. And uh, once again, they found that insect meal could uh, modulate microbiota in, uh, in fish, in rainbow trout, and they also found an improvement in the gastrointestinal uh, microstructure. So uh, concerning microbiota, they found an increase of the incidence of lactic acid bacteria, uh, likely due to the chitin that is present in the insect meal. Um, so they found an action of, uh, of probiotic action of the uh, chitin uh, that was able to improve the performance. And the uh, lactic acid bacteria adhesion to the intestinal mucosa may improve the development of the mucosa activity and also improve the uh, morphology. And this could lead to an improvement of the performance and also on the, uh, better resistance of fish. Uh, lactic acid bacteria has positive effect on immune system. So uh, the development of lactic acid bacteria in fish uh, could stimulate the uh, non-specific immune response. 
Another trial where um, black soldier fly was used uh, in rainbow trout. In this case, we use uh, four different levels, 0, 10, 20, and 30% of inclusion. And once again, we found a modulation of the microbiota. And um, in this case, we found uh, both an increase in the diversity and in the richness of the microbiota. And once again, we found an increasing in lactic acid bacteria and in butyrate bacteria, and that both bacteria that can contribute in the uh, global fish health. Uh, what about antioxidant effect of insect meal? Uh, insect meal, um, in this case, uh, black soldier fly meal, was tested in diet for a juvenile giant carp. And uh, the level were quite low, so 2.6, 5.3, 7.9, and 10% of black soldier fly insect meal. And uh, in this case, author did not highlight any differences in growth performance, but they found both uh, increase in, in the catalase activity, so in the antioxidant status, and they also find a reduction in uh, lipid deposition. So they conclude that uh, black soda thymine could boost the antioxidant status of fish and could also have an effect in the lipid metabolism. Well, to conclude, um, clearly not all results are unicocary. Uh, you can also find some papers that uh, did not highlight any positive effect on the use of insect meal, but uh, you can also find some papers where definitely we found very positive results. Uh, well, and in that case, uh, clearly more research is needed, uh, but the preliminary uh, results are definitely very interesting. Thank you for your attention.